Welcome to Tricky Mickey. Please subscribe, share, and like. In this episode, we are going to examine the 1947 mysterious Roswell incident where allegedly aliens crashed. What is all this conspiracy and mystery about? We're going to explore all these issues slowly and carefully so that we can come to a rational understanding. The Roswell incident occurred in 1947 as I stated. A rancher found debris from a crash object in 1947 near Roswell, New Mexico. The military personnel came and took it away, the debris, and told the reporters that it was just a weather balloon. Well, since that time, a whole series of mysteries has evolved. Was this some type of Cold War conspiracy? Did it involve the Nazis, the Soviet Union, or something extraterrestrial? What was it all about? Well, it started when William Mack Brazil in 1947 saw something crash on his cheap ranch. So what he did was he called the authorities and showed the materials that he found on his property. Well, the materials were unidentifiable to the people of that small town locale. So what happened was that he wrote about this incident and basically after the incident and the uh, military uh, officials came and took away all the materials that were found on his ranch, he didn't talk about it for 30 years. Nothing came about it for specific information for a long time. The mystery began to fail and many speculation occurred. Books have been written movies has been made but really what happened what happened on july the 30 excuse me july the 3rd 1947 was there really alien vis visitation a crash landing were alien bodies discovered were they taken from the site let's take it one issue at a time first of all more than seven decades has passed and no evidence has been found what are the other probabilities that that are available to us for analysis? This was the Cold War period. The Soviet Union was testing their nuclear bombs. The United States of America was conducting its surveillance of the enemy and their extraordinary methods that they were using to spread international communism. This was the Cold War. For many of you not old enough to remember, there was a lot of mass hysteria. So it doesn't stand to reason that people were looking to the sky, waiting for bombs to drop, and also seeing in the sky mass hallucination, mass hysteria. This was a time where people uh, were imagining things that the military and the United States government tried to explain. Many of these incidents were explained, like 99% of them. It was Venus, it was a weather balloon, it was uh, the stars in a certain uh, loca uh, location. Of course, the military did not help themselves because on July the 8th, the Air Force did announce that it had found a flying disc. That's what flying saucers were called back in those days, a flying disc. But the next day, on July the 9th, 1947, they, the military re reversed itself and said that it was just a weather balloon. Unfortunately, a lot of the people at that base did not know that the United States was conducting secret weather balloon surveillances with special uh, monitors, special satellites that were attached to these weather balloons and put up into the stratosphere. And it was top secret. It was called Operation Mogul. It was a form of listening devices. This was before the age of satellites. As you can see in this picture, these were the kind of weather balloons that were used. So it's reasonable to assume that because this was top secret and many people in, on that military base did not know about this, let alone the materials that were using, that were very, very special, very advanced for th that age, it can, it can be understood. Plus, the military had a habit of testing uh, throwing uh, out of the plane dummies to see the aerial dynamics in order to help um, our skydivers who would jump out of the, the uh, airplanes how to perfect parachutes better. What you're looking at now in the picture is the debris of the weather uh, satellite balloons 
that were being used. Of course, many people do not believe in this simple explanation because people want to believe in the exotic that we have been visited by Mars that is Martian. For example, the government doesn't want you to know that the alien landing was really a hoax to cover up their embarrassment idea of using balloon as spy equipment. We were in a time where we could not let anybody know what techniques were we were using to protect our own civilians. After many, many researches, the government has disclosed its files over many, many years, but people keep on stating that still there are more files in, in reserve that have not been disclosed. There's a Sergeant Homer Rawwell Jr. who stated that he was part of the 603 Air Fighting Squadron in 1947 and was part of the cleanup detail sent to the impact site 40 miles north of Roswell. Before dying, he confessed to his son, Larry, that he saw aliens being taken aboard. Could have been crashed dummies that he mistaken from a distance. He was not physically present to physically gather up the bodies. And also many photographs, apparently fakes, have been over the years uh, shown just to confound the whole theory of aliens at Roswell. What are, are the other theories of the Roswell incident? Some people have speculated that this is a continuation of Operation Paperclip. Operation Paperclip was when the United States took a lot of Nazi scientists and brought them over to the United States of America in order to help facilitate our space age and our spy network plus our gas, chemical, and biological warfare because we were in a race against the Soviet Union and international communism. You're looking now at a diagram of the V-2 rocket that the German Nazis used to blast London, England and the southern portion of England back in World War II. The, this V-2 rocket caused a lot of damage and a lot of death in England. And if it would have continued unabated, who knows what would have happened in World War II if Great Britain would have surrendered. You're looking now at Eric Von Braun who was the head of NASA and the space program that helped us go to the moon. You're looking now at the painting of alleged Nazi superior technology and many other secret activities that they were doing before many other scientists were taken away and Germany was conquered and overthrown. You're now looking at the dictator of the Soviet Union, Joseph Stalin, during the Cold War period. Now, allegedly, in order to create mass hysteria in the United States, he and his scientists created a wing jet rocket airplane that would invade our airspace and crash in order to cause propaganda hysteria to unravel the people of the United States of America. These were called the ghost rockets, which um, the United States government has covered up in order to prevent mass hysteria. So Stalin's effort to overthrow the United States government by creating uprising of the American people due to mass hysteria of alien invasion, this picture could have been one of the uh, flying rocket ships that they send. And inside of them were probably uh, individuals, human beings, who were very badly deformed of all sorts of diseases that were there and were sacrificed when that rocket ship crashed into our country. This is another theory. All of this material has been taken over to Area 51, a very secretive place where the government of the United States guards its military secrets. Just because weather balloons or Operation Paperclip and Nazi scientists and their advanced scientific experiments were being done during the age of the Cold War and our space program does not lend itself to the credence that this could have been just aliens from another dim dimension or another planet. Unfortunately, there is no evidence to prove alien life form anywhere outside of our planet. No matter how much you in, in, uh, speculate. Thank you for listening and watching. 
This is Tricky Mickey. Please subscribe and share and like. Until next time, thank you and bye.